Hey, how's it going everybody? Just want to give you a quick progress report on the blue oyster mushrooms that we had started in a bucket of straw about three and a half weeks ago. So after inoculating our bucket of straw, I placed it in this bag to keep it dark and humid and kept the temperature around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit during colonization. And by the way, if you missed that video, you can check the link in the description below so that you can follow along the entire process and begin to grow your own edible gourmet mushrooms at home. So let's see what we got here. So as you can see, poking out of the quarter inch holes that we drilled in this bucket, we've got what's known as pinning occurring. These pin heads are primordia. This is the regenerative stage now. Initially, when we inoculated the straw in the bucket with the grain spawn, we were going through a colonization phase where that mycelium would spread and grow. Now, the mycelium has knotted up in these holes and created these pinheads, which will eventually form into mushrooms. And although I don't recommend, it's not a good idea to break the top off the bucket and disturb the mycelium inside for documentation purposes, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick peek inside just to share with you what it looks like. So as you can see, inoculation went extremely well. Now at this point, this stage of growth and development, it's not as crucial that we keep the bucket in a cozy 65 to 85 degree Fahrenheit temperature range. But it should do just fine, even if we dip down into the lower 50 degree Fahrenheit range. In fact, that shock of temperature shift may actually help the mushrooms to develop even quicker and more robust. And for this reason, I will now be placing my mushroom bucket in my backyard greenhouse, where I'm able to keep the temperature in here stable at the 50 degree Fahrenheit range with no issues. Now the added benefit to keeping the mushroom bucket here in the greenhouse is not only that we're able to expose it to the natural daylight as well as some artificial grow lighting as well if we need to, but we're also able to protect it from getting too low in the temperature range as we are here in the winter season. And although we do get below freezing in my area, I've got a couple different things that I've utilized here in my greenhouse to keep the temperatures up such as this inflatable hot tub that we utilize out here in the greenhouse, which has helped to keep the temperature raised in this area quite a bit as we come out here each night. When we lift that top off, it immediately jumps 10 degrees in temperature. But I also run my countertop water distiller out here in the greenhouse, which elevates the temperature. And I even have another backup that I'm gonna be going over in a review here shortly. This is a greenhouse heater with an attached thermostat here so that we can keep the temperature in range as a last resort backup. But it's the high humidity that we're able to create in this greenhouse, which makes it such a wonderful environment for oyster mushrooms. They prefer a humidity of 90 to 95%. If we can stay close to that, that would be great. If we dip down into the 70 to 80% range, they're still gonna do just fine. So that's the update today on growing mushrooms in straw out of a five gallon bucket. And at this point now, we're just days away from actually harvesting pounds of delicious gourmet edible mushrooms so stay tuned for the next video when we pull a harvest from this bucket also i'll be following up this video and giving you an update on the mushroom fruiting blocks that we just recently put together so stay tuned for that as well be sure if you haven't already that you subscribe to the channel so you can stay in the loop and get updates on all the different projects that we have growing on around here and if you feel like you got something out of this video or at the very least it was entertaining in some way we sure do appreciate when you smash the thumb button for us so with that hope you guys have a great rest of your day until next time this is dan from plantabundance.com take care i'll be talking to you again soon